Welcome back. In this activity, I will show you how to make a bristle bot. So to make a bristle bot, what you'll need is a toothbrush head, a motor, coin battery, pipe cleaner, and some tape. So the first step is to take your motor and your brush head and you'll want to attach your motor to the end of your brush head. This specific motor has a piece of paper right here that you can peel off and it has a sticky side. If your motor doesn't have um, a sticky peel off backing then you can just take some tape and tape it onto your motor. And what that looks like is um, like this. So you'll have, you'll have your motor here and then your your toothbrush head and your next step will be to take some tape and fold it on itself so what that is like if you haven't done that before is you take a little piece of tape here and so this is the sticky side and you'll want to make sure that the sticky side is out and you'll just roll it on top like this so that way it's fully sticky all around and what you'll do with that is you'll attach it to the opposite side here. And now what you'll do is you'll take this red wire and stick it to the tape, making sure that it's right about in the center here. And then you're going to place the battery above the wire, so you're going to find the negative side and place it here. And just to test to make sure that everything works, you could take this wire and touch it to the positive side. And your battery should, sorry, excuse me, your motor should start vibrating and you can feel that. Now, what you'll want to do similar to the decorative LED is that you'll want to then place um, the blue wire on top and a piece of tape and then you should have your working bristle. And this will be what your bristle bot looks like. It'll start moving around. Um, you can change a bit. So as you can see, mine's kind of um, spinning in a circle. And what you can do to solve that is to place your pipe cleaner through these wires and you loop it around the, the bristle here. Make sure you don't pull out any of the wires, so you might have to go through underneath them. But as you do that, you can make little legs. And it might take a little bit of trial and error in trying to place the legs so that way it moves in a straight line. Um, it'll take a little bit of practice. This is also helpful if for whatever reason your bristle bot keeps falling over. And I'll keep messing around with this until I can get it to move however I want, <laughs> essentially. Now that you have your working bristle bot, I want you to think a little bit about variables. So a variable is something that can change or be changed that will have an effect on our outcome. So let's say you want your bristle bot to spin in circles or you want it to travel in a certain direction. My challenge to you is what can you change on your bristle bot to make that happen? Can you move the battery around? Um, can you um, add multiple legs, uh, check the different angles of the legs. Um, you can maybe even add some weight to it if you have something at home that you can tape on and, and just see what happens, right? And the next challenge, if you want to take the challenge, is taking some tape, scissors, cardboard, or cardstock and creating a challenge course or a maze for your bristle bot. Um, this can look like anything you want it to, and your end goal is to 
have the bristle bot go from start to finish. And I'd love to hear more about what you created and how it worked out for you and what variables you changed to make your bristle bot have a different outcome.